for both Sheridan Dean and Mimi, obviously not how you wanted to go out at home. How do you, how do you bounce back from this, and how long is it going to you know take you to sort of get past this? Well, I mean, this loss it hurts. Um, you know, so I mean, we just got to get back to work and remain focused get back to doing playing Tennessee basketball. I think today we had we was playing a little lack of days before as a team and we had spurts where we were playing hard and we weren't playing hard. So I think we need to get back to practice and just get back to playing hundred percent Tennessee basketball. Yeah, I agree. Sheridan, sure, those were two really tough offensive fouls called against you in the fourth quarter and then you have to foul out in your in your last home game. Like 20 points, eight rebounds. Did you really hope you had a better exit than how you had to, to leave the game? Of course. Um, I didn't think anybody would want to get fired out, especially on senior night. But, you know, I get I've been getting offensive calls throughout the season, but what I've learned is to, you know, don't allow that to make me play passive. This will play my game and be smart with it. And I felt like that's what I did tonight. So. Mimi Collins, you're obviously just a freshman. You see two seniors, you know, going through what is a very tough time tonight. What, what's your response to this? I mean, you, a freshman, you don't. It's not fair to count on freshmen to do things. That, that's what seniors do. But what's your response going forward to this? How do you handle seeing them so disappointed? Um, my thing is, as a freshman, is to not only play for myself and who I really want to play for, but is to go out and play for these seniors. Um, as you saw tonight, it was all about the seniors, and it's going to continue to be all about the seniors because of this is their last year. I have three more years. So it's like I have room to make mistakes. I have room for all of this, but this is like their last go around. So for me, I just feel like I play for the seniors, and I don't want to go out as a, that freshman who just doesn't care about my teammates or who just doesn't care about the seniors. So what I do is just to play hard, um, listen to them, because they give great advice and they help me. And they just are great senior leaders, so that's just what I do. I just play for them. You guys have been so strong rebounding the ball all season long for the most part. Obviously, they kind of rebounded by 12 today. Uh, why do you think Vandy had such success going the boards? I think they know we're a great offensive rebounding team. So I think they just had more heart and more effort on it. You know, they took you know, into detail on boxing us out and, you know, hustling all the time. And I felt like, you know, they did what they did. We should have just fought back and, you know, we should have kept going when adversity hit us. Maybe, Jackson, I, I know this isn't the outcome you wanted here, but you, like you said, you've got Ole Miss and then the SEC tournament. How, how quickly can you get it in your mindset that as long as you guys have a uniform on, you're still in it. How, how, how can this team flip the script on this season, you think, in, in, in March? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it ever crossed our mind that we, that we weren't in it. I mean, I feel like the, the more that we practice, the more we play hard, it's going to continue to be in our minds. Uh, we still got games left in the season. It's not over. We can turn it around. It's, it's up to us. It's not up to the coaches. It's not up to the fans. It's up to us. So once we as a team get it together, then we'll be fine. 